Okay, we're gonna start over and try it with this camera. This is a G7000 Spider Farmer Light. All right. The reason I got it hanging in there sideways because I want my power cords and stuff to all go out and come out over here in that vent so it comes down to my electrical stuff which you can't see because it's dark in here ain't it um <clears throat> but anyway I had a G5000 light and it was in a 4x4 tent I went to this 5x5 so I upgraded all right everything was working fine I upgraded and then I couldn't get this to work well it comes to figure out G7000 it should be the same thing, but here's the thing. See this box right here, your control box? First of all, you want to hit that button. You want to make sure that green lights. there's three green lights here. You want to make sure it's on the top for LinkedIn. Okay, that way it links the light to this controller. If you just have it on the controller side, you can manually move the light, you know, with that button. But see that cord goes to your ballast. That is the side you want to hook the cord in for the light. And what I got here is a mess. I got that tripod right in the way. Let me move it. Okay, so what I got is I got my RJ12 cord running through this vent. All right, and I'm going to hook it right into this side of the controller. I need two hands, though. Okay, so the ballast is on the wall. Um, the control box is over here on the wall. This cord can't be removed because it goes to the ballast of that controller and this RJ12 cord it goes in <clears throat> comes back around in here to right here so what I'm going to do is there's a pocket here I'm going to run this wire up through here and then I'm going to connect it right to this box I'm going to put right here I'll show you okay you're going to have this piece right here and I got the short cord in there and this is the side that everything comes in on and this is what goes out on one side here says light one side says fan and the fan they're talking about is the clip fan okay so that cord that we had from the light is going to hook in to this side where it says light okay now the cord that comes from the fan Okay, the oscillating fan, if you have one, is going to plug in here right beside that cord. And when it says fan, I don't know if you can see them or not. So this is what you're going to have. You're going to have your fan and your light coming up, hooking into this box right here, okay? I know it's not very good video, but I don't have very good light in here right now. Um, this thing here, when I got the fan, it comes with it. It's a humidity temperature sensor. Okay, I used to hook it up. I used to put a Y in the one coming into this and hook it up that way but I looked in their pictures and you can just hook it into the back of this this is the input side okay and then I'm gonna hook it right beside it okay now we got that we'll hook this one to the left hand side of this control box just put it up in there and snap it in I'm gonna need two hands now I'll show the, I'll try to show the picture and I'll try to draw a little thing and insert here of how I got this wired up. I'm calling that the GGS controller and that the light controller. All right, here's how I got this thing hooked up. Here's my GGS controller. And on the right hand side, it comes out of here in my fan. On this side over here, <clears throat> comes into this box they give you, all right? there's four ports on it one port will say fan that goes to your little oscillating fan clip on fan um, you can come out of the back of this this comes in a GGS controller to that little box beside that one you can come back out of here and go to that temperature humidity sensor that's the one that has the rubber cover your RJ12 cable with the rubber cover goes to the temperature humidity sensor all right now that leaves your light because we've come to the inline fan we've come into this block we went out on this side to the clip on fan we went out here on the same side we came in on back over to the temperature humidity sensor has the rubber boot that leaves us the light <clears throat> very very important 
this is the knob to control the light in a little round circle. These are the three green lights. So it's manual, auto, or um, linked. You're going to want it in the top when linked. You push the button to make it go up. Now, see this line right here? This is your RJ12. Very important. This is where I messed up. There's a port on both sides of this controller. On my G5000, it does not matter. On the G7000, to be able to control the light and everything with this controller, it has to go in on the same side the little three lights are, and that's the same side the fixed wire comes out of that control box over to the ballast. And that ballast plugs into 110, then this is the heavy cord with the screw together connector that comes into your light. If you want to link another light to it, you'll come off of this side, okay, of your light, and you'll go into this side of the new light. But <clears throat> this is how it should be hooked up. And what I did, because I was testing, I ended up getting it over on the other side and my light didn't work. With, I mean, the light worked, but not with this controller or the phone or nothing. So just keep in mind, this RJ12 that comes from the light on that little box they give you, it says light, it has to come from there and into the left-hand side of that control box. The side that has the three lights and the same side that has that cord going out to the ballast that's fixed. Now, if you don't want to take this ballast and this controller out of here, it will clip to the top of the light and there's a little um, spot, little grooves where this here controller will fit onto the light. So all this can be stuck on top of the light if you want to. I just leave it out of the tent just so I can keep more heat out of the tent. And the batteries will go down this camera. So let's hurry up and go down here. We'll just turn the light on. Okay. Light. And we go to on. We're just going to do it in manual just to show you it works. It works. I'm at 11%. It does show me my percentage up here. Okay. Now I can come down here. I can change it. We'll just crank it up some. Okay, now I can come up here and go to manual. And after I get to manual, I can change to a couple different time dimming. Um, PP, um, FD, and manual. So timed is what I'll do. And then see, I can set my times here. When I want to start the light, when I want to shut the light off. Um, you can come down here. Let me see if it'll show me. Sunset and sun or sunrise and sunset <clears throat> now I like that feature I make it so it's 15 minutes that it starts dimming the light down before it goes off at night and 15 minutes it brightens it up they say it has no effect on the plants at all that you're growing but to me if I'm in here doing something and that light starts to dim I know I have 15 minutes from the time the light starts dimming to get done and get out of there so that's a good feature for the light now here's that light. I'll do some more on it here later maybe. Um, what I like to do is after I get it in here and get it running and have it running for a couple of days, I might try to take a temperature gun and try to do some temperatures on it and stuff and just see what we got. And that's the reason I put the ballast out here on the wall is because I got a ceiling fan that brings air down over top of it and helps cool it, keeps some of the heat out of the tent. And this light is very, very lightweight. I mean, anybody can pick this up and do whatever. <clears throat> so anyway, that G7000, it is a, you know, pretty nice light, I guess. We don't find out. It has to be like my G5000, only bigger. And a lot of people worry about buying the G series lights because of the Bridge Lux diodes, but, you know, I don't really have the other light to compare it to. But for me, the Bridge Luck diodes have done exceptionally well for me. Now, the next video, we're going to get into the Pro Sensor. I'll hook you up. Now, if we go to the Spider Farmer app, and I open the one up here for this tent. <clears throat> See here, you can go into your environmental settings right here. 
and you can set your humidity to me it's easier to do on the phone than it is on that controller box but you can do your daytime cycle um, if you want to do it humidity priority you can do the humidity settings here whatever you decide um, just say like your air temperature it's going to have a graft okay the last time it was doing it um, humidity there's not been nothing in here is why it's like that um, now you can scroll up here like my light okay right now I can turn it on Whoa, I can't see the phone now hang on a second here that much that's better see up here on manual mode and then we can do the PPDF and what that's going to do is you can get this sensor kit and um, hook it up and then you can say hey you know I want 800 PPFD and if you have that sensor there it'll make 800 PFD at that sensor there's also on these sensors and stuff you can calibrate some of it but on, as far as the light, you know, you can control this time based just like you have a timer on it. You can do it manually, and you can do it with this PPFD and the timer. Okay, because that sets the, um, how high it goes. No, I don't know. Let me get the light turned off. Go to manual mode, and we'll turn her off. Okay, now you guys can probably see more, huh? But there's a lot you can do with this app on this, so it's pretty nice that you can control the light and everything with that app and set the PPFD and everything. So as far as the G7000 light, so far it's a thumbs up on me. Once I got figured out how to hook that box up the correct way, um, everything was fine. Like I say, if you, used it, if you do use the phone app, to me it seems easier to do a lot of the stuff and the settings and stuff but you can be out of if you have Wi-Fi at your house or wherever this is at and you have that hooked up you can be in a different state and look at that and adjust whatever you need to adjust in here you can make that light go up or down or whatever 